Hello friends at home. In this video, I will be going over this week's religion test. You should take the test out of your folder, have it in front of you, and follow along as I read through the questions. The first thing I do is always the same. I take out my pencil and write down my name. Make sure that you put your name at the top of your paper. Try to use the lines to help guide your writing. Many of us have to get better at our handwriting. Some of you when you're writing, you rush to get your name on the paper so quickly that you're not taking time to do nice handwriting. So make sure that you're doing a nice job when you write that name. All right, so um, what I want you to do right here is draw a line to match each word to its meaning. And I will do the first one with you. That way we can make sure that we know what we're doing, okay? So the words on this side say forgive, laws, sin, love, and mercy. And over here, we're looking at the meaning of those words, okay? So um, what I think will be easier for this particular test, if I read the meaning and then we match it to the word, that should probably be easier for us. So then I'm not having to read all these meanings and you get all confused, okay? So the first one here says to choose to do wrong. So I'm going to put a circle around to choose to do wrong, okay? And then I'm going to find the word over here that, mean, that means to choose to do wrong. And I'll put a circle around that too, okay? So to choose to do wrong, here's my circle. Which of these words is when we choose to do wrong? Well, we've talked a lot this week and we know that that is a sin. When we sin, we are choosing to do something that we know is wrong. So I put a circle around to choose to do wrong. I'm going to put a circle around the dot next to sin. So now when I connect my dots, I know I'm connecting the right word to the right definition or meaning. Okay, when we, when we do the shapes, it helps us make sure. Sometimes if we're just drawing our line, we get confused along the way and we forget where we were going and then we get marked wrong when really we knew the answer. So it's helpful if you draw the shapes, okay? All right, so now we've used the word sin. We have forgive, laws, love, and mercy. So the next one says to care a lot about someone. So we look over here and let's decide which of these means when you care a lot about somebody. Okay, forgive. Does that mean I care a lot about you? If I say I forgive you, does that mean I really care about you? If I say I laws you, does that mean I really care about you? If I say I love you, does that mean I really care about you? Or if I say I mercy you. So I'm going to put a square around the sentence to care a lot about someone. Over here, choose the word, which means to care a lot about someone, and put a square around it. Again, this one is forgive, this one is laws, this one is love, and this one is mercy, and then connect your squares. All right, the next one here, I'm going to put a triangle around it, and it says to excuse or pardon. Okay, so that means if you tell someone it's okay. Okay, I, what you did, um, and I guess we said we don't even say it's okay, but we say um, I accept your apology. When we do that, what are we showing them? Are we showing forgiveness, laws, love, or mercy? Draw a triangle around the answer and connect them. All right, the next one here, I am going to put an X on the dot. So you'll put an X on the answer and connect them. And this one is loving forgiveness. Okay. So when we ask God to show us loving forgiveness, we say, God, have this on me. His loving forgiveness. Is that called forgive? Is that called laws? Is that called love? Or is that called mercy? So put an X on your answer and connect them. And now this last one should probably be a gimme for you because um, it should be the last one, but you should still read it and make sure it makes sense. So I'm going to put a heart around this one if you want to draw a heart shape around yours. And then it says rules that we follow or obey. So what are rules that we follow or obey? Are those forgives, laws, love, or mercy? So draw a heart around your answer and connect them. 
All right, now if you need more time on that, you know you can pause the video and finish it up. But if you are ready to move on, I'm going to go down now to the second part. And for this part, it says circle the words that best complete the sentences. So I will read each sentence and you will circle the correct word. So the first one says, Jesus wants us to blank God's laws. Does he want us to hear them or obey them? Remember, obey means that we follow the rules. So does God just want us to hear them or does he want us to obey and follow them? Number two, God's laws help us to choose to do blank. Do his laws help us to do right or do they help us to do wrong? Circle the correct answer. Number three, we blank God when we sin. Do we turn away from God when we sin or do we show love for God when we sin? If you think we turn away from God when we sin, circle turn away from. And if you think we show love for God when we sin, circle show love for. Number four says, sin blank our friendships with other people. Sin helps our friendships with other people or sin hurts our friendships with other people. If you think sin helps our friendships, circle helps. And if you think sin hurts our friendships, circle hurts. Number five, the blank is one of God's laws. Is the Eucharist, the body and blood, is that one of God's laws? Or is the golden rule, treat people how you want to be treated? Which of those is one of God's laws? The Eucharist or the golden rule? Circle your answer and then turn your paper over. On this side, we're going to be connecting again. Um, this time, instead of doing words and their meaning, we're going to be completing sentences. So finishing the sentence, okay? So I will read the first part of the sentence and then I will read all of the second parts and we'll decide which one sounds the best. And I'll do the first one with you so that um, you kind of understand how to do it. So I'm going to put a circle around this. Number one, it says God never. And I'm going to read this first part with each of the endings and we'll decide which one sounds the best. Okay. God never, I forgive you. God never, Zacchaeus was a sinner. God never ready to forgive. God never stops loving us. God never, I'm sorry. Only one of those sounded correct to me, and it was this one, stops loving us. God never stops loving us. So I've got my two circles drawn. I'll connect the two circles. God never stops loving us. That one is done. Now let's go on to number two. This one says, God is always. And I'm going to put a triangle around God is always. And now I'll read each of these. And when you hear the one that you think completes the sentence, put your triangle around it. And then you can connect them. God is always, I forgive you. God is always, Zacchaeus was a sinner. God is always ready to forgive. God is always, I'm sorry. So choose the one that you think matches, draw your triangle, and then connect them. Number three says, people said that, so now I'll read this beginning with each of the endings. People said that, I forgive you. People said that Zacchaeus was a sinner. People said that, ready to forgive. People said that, I'm sorry. Hmm. All right, number four, Zacchaeus said, so we're looking for something that Zacchaeus said. Did Zacchaeus say, I forgive you? Did Zacchaeus say Zacchaeus was a sinner? Did Zacchaeus say, ready to forgive? Or did Zacchaeus say, I'm sorry? And remember, you can be doing your shapes on these. So if you want to do a square on this one, maybe a heart on this one, and an X on this one, that way when you match them up, you don't match up the wrong one. And number five says, Jesus said. So now we're looking for something that Jesus said. Did Jesus say, I forgive you? Did Jesus say Zacchaeus was a sinner? Did Jesus say, ready to forgive? Or did Jesus say, I'm sorry? 
And when you are finished with that, boys and girls, down here it says draw or write. I want you to draw, if you'd like to write to, you may, but you must draw one way that you can show forgiveness. So can you show forgiveness to a friend, to a parent, to a teacher? Draw a picture of how you can do that. And when you are all done with this, friends, you will take a picture of both sides and upload it to Class Dojo so that Mrs. Patkoff and I can grade it for you and get your points in the gradebook. Okay? See you later.